Lady Panthers on the road. They bring in the nation's number one ranking to Louisville for a showdown with Bellarmine. Certainly some history between these two teams. And look who's in the building. She's wisdom. She's light. She had a baby Thursday night. Coach Miller here. But don't panic. She's going to stay seated for the game. Amy Eakin handling sideline duties today. Bellarmine up 23-21 after shooting a blistering 71% in the first quarter. Bria Torrens on fire. This triple gives her 14 points early in the second. Bellarmine up 28-21, and Drury needs timeout. Five and a half to go before halftime. Paige Robinson from deep, yes ma'am, and the sophomore trims the Knights' lead down to three. It's back to four now, a minute and a half left in the half. Disselkamp connects from deep, and the lead down to one. A couple trips later, 39-38, Bellerman Bernard finds Disselkamp off the inbounds, and Drury retakes the lead, but we head into the half, tied at 40. Lady Panthers in a fight this afternoon in Knights Hall. Early third quarter, DU up 45-44, Robinson. I wouldn't leave her open, but that's just me. Boom, a couple trips down later, Disselkamp starting to heat up. Splashes on the pull-up to give Drury a five-point cushion. 52-47 in the middle of the quarter. She wants more. The reigning National Player of the Year reminding Bellerman who she is. Count it and the foul. She's up to 19 points. But here comes Bellerman roaring back. It's Torrens from deep. That gives her 18 in Drury's lead at one. Then Kathleen Scott works into the paint and a 9-0 run gives Bellerman the lead back. 56-55. DU still down one heading into the fourth. Drury keeping themselves in it with rebounding and multiple chances. They outscore Bellerman 17-3 in second chance points, out-rebound the Knights 44-27. Disselkamp takes a hard foul and one. She puts Drury up two. Under seven minutes left now. We're tied. 63 all. Who else? Disselkamp. She's up to 29 and Drury goes up a deuce. Back and forth we go. It's tied. Not for long. Ashley Harris flips it up and in with the angle. Bellerman up 69-67. 305 to go. A minute later. It's a one-point game in Haley Disselkamp says, I am not letting us lose this afternoon. The senior puts Drury back up one on the jumper, then cans the three. Disselkamp putting on a show and putting Drury on her back. Lady Panthers up 73-69 with a minute and a half left. Next play off the turnover. Bernard finds Robinson, and no one from Bellerman gets back on defense. Drury up six. And then watch this for how good Bria Torrens was tonight. She makes the biggest mistake of the game here. Down six. She's complaining to the referee off the inbound. She wastes four seconds. Meanwhile, Bellerman needs to get the ball across half court. It winds up in a violation. Drury ball. Sorry for the Bellerman feed lag, by the way. DU fired up, and you can see it on Torrance's face. She knows she made a mistake. Here's the cherry on top. Disselkamp off the steal. Puts this one on ice. She was an absolute monster today. 37 points, 11 rebounds, 5 assists, 4 steals. Deja Bernard, 7 points, 9 assists, 10 boards. Dury prevails against a game Bellerman squad. 82-74, now 19-0 on the season. I mean, just our gutsy performance. I mean, um, you know, I thought our kids just really grinded it out. It's a tough place to play. Bellerman had a great night, and we just found ways. Um, I thought one of the things that really stood out, even on the stat sheet and probably just watching the game, was our rebounding. I mean, we just rebounded the heck out of it. To have 24 offensive rebounds to their five, um, just that difference, it, it was just, it was really nice to see. It was just the fact that we came here two years ago and we lost, and we knew that the seniors knew that feeling, the juniors knew that feeling of kind of coming in and not taking things serious and so uh, tonight it was one of those things that uh, I didn't want to feel that feeling again and so that's kind of what pushed me uh, to get that W. I was so blessed to be able to, to get here and you know, witness this. Um, you know, it's probably not normal to have a baby on a Thursday and show up to a game on a Saturday but me versus this team, they're just special. So every second you can spend with them, I want to. Um, I love them to death. It's nice to be able to add to our family and then our big jury family. Um, so to see them pull out this win with the effort of the coaching staff and the team uh, just made my heart really happy today.